In this video we're going to be having a look at uh, the pen tool once again and today we're going to be drawing curved lines. Now it's a really important skill to know with the pen tool how to draw curved lines because if you can do curves you can draw basically any shape in Illustrator and you can create some very complex artwork. Okay so we're going to have a pretty tough time doing some of these curves today but stick with it have a bit of patience and just keep trying don't give up okay I've seen kids in the past just give up after a couple of attempts but really stick at it and I reckon by the end of the lesson you'll be able to draw pretty much all the shapes on this page there's a few curly ones down the bottom here okay We've got the bonus round and the tricky ones if you can do those you're doing a really good job with the pen tool but at least try and get the basic shapes okay these ones over here as well done today Okay, and you shouldn't have too many dramas, I don't think. So you can read the instructions at the top of the page. The main thing you need to know is when you grab the pen tool today, uh, you need to make sure you've got no fill color up the top. You've got red as your stroke color, and you've got four point for your size of the stroke. Once you've got that set up, head over to the first column where it says do the wave. Okay, I'm going to create some basic curved lines in Illustrator. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down to the first uh, line that we need to draw, and you can see we've got some red guides in the background here that are going to help us out when we draw our curved line. Basically, all you need to do is hover over this filled red box to begin with, simply click and drag up to the empty white box, and just drop your mouse there. Once you've done that, you'll see that the pen tool is starting to follow your mouse cursor now, wherever it goes. So pop on over to the next solid red box, and simply click and drag down to the empty one. And you can see you've got the first curve curve of that line uh, looking good. As you move your mouse, the pen tool is still turned on, so it's still following your mouse cursor. I want you to come across to the final solid red box. Simply click and drag out to that empty white one. Drop it, and you've got your first curve drawn. You can either press Escape to turn off the pen tool, or another way to do it is hold down Control on your keyboard. Or if you're on a Mac, press Command, and just simply click off the shape and that turns your pen tool off as well. Okay, that's the first curve drawn. Let's do the same thing for the second one. Start in the solid red box, click and drag up to the empty white box. Go to the next solid one, click and drag down to the empty one. Go to the last solid red box, click and drag up to the empty one. Okay, remember to control, click, off the shape there, and you've got your second curve drawn. Now you've got three lines at the bottom to do yourself. Okay, so let's have a go at this first one together. Simply click on the start point and drag up to the right a little bit. Once you've done that, come across roughly around the center. And we're going to click and drag down to the right a little bit. I'm not going to get this line perfect, but I'll show you how to fix that in just a moment. Once you've done that first part, come across to the end point and simply click and drag up. I'm going to go to the right and left a little bit, just keep moving it around until you get close to the curve behind it. Okay, and simply command click or control click off the shape. And you can see my shape's a bit wonky, it doesn't quite match the black line. So what you can do is grab your direct selection tool, which is this white arrow, click on the shape once, you'll notice these handles appear. Okay, you can actually pick up the end of those handles and adjust them. Okay, you can just move them around a little bit and you can try and get them, I'll click over here near the end now, if you click on that last little anchor point got a few shapes, just nudge them around a bit until you get the curve covering that black line perfectly like I've done now and you've got your second curve shape done Okay. if we keep going down here you can have a look at this next one, so click and drag up to the right to start with find the center point, click and drag down Okay, remember, it doesn't have to match perfectly on the black line because you can fix it once you've drawn it. Once you've done that, come across to the end point, click and drag up. Okay, and try and get it matching the best you can. Okay, then you can just command click or control click off the shape. Grab your white arrow, which is a direct selection tool. Click on the shape, and we'll adjust these handles a bit. Okay, this is a very poor job by me. I've done a pretty wonky curve here. I'm going to click over on this last anchor point now and hopefully, oops, hopefully I'll be able to adjust this line, get it looking a bit better. There we go, so not entirely perfect, but it's pretty close. Okay, oops. 
Let's click near this end, should be able to grab this handle, give it a bit more of a twist. Oh jeez, I'm just wrecking this now, aren't I? <laughs> you can lift them up and down as well. Okay, it's a bit wonky, but generally covers that black line. You get the idea. The last one here, it's a big one. Okay, this one's going to test you a bit. But just remember, click on that start point, drag up towards the right, come across to the center somewhere, so about here, and we'll click and drag down. Oh, click and drag down. Again, it's not perfectly matching the shape of the curve, but it's close. And we go to the end point, simply click and drag up a little bit. Okay, and you'll roughly get the shape of that line. Okay, command or control click off it, grab your white arrow, click back on the line, use those handles as need be to get that shape looking how you want it. Okay, so I need to click over this side, just lift this line up a bit. Again, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, just get, get it the best you can. Okay, I'd be happy with that. Okay, it's not quite on the black line, but pretty close. So as I zoom out now, you can see those five lines. They're looking pretty good. I'm happy with those. So we can move on to the second column now and have a go at this second tutorial. Okay, so I'll zoom in here. Looks quite complex to start with, but trust me, it's not as hard as it seems. When you grab your pen tool, we're going to start the same way at the start point. Here, I'm going to click and drag up from one box to the other red box and let go of my mouse. Okay, pen tool follows my cursor. So I'll come across to the center point now, click and drag down to that other empty box. Now you've got a purple guide in the background there saying Alt Drag. And what that's meaning, what that means, sorry, is grab your Alt key, so push down on it and grab the little handle, which is the green line, and drag it up to that blue or purple box you can see at the top and just drop it into there. Okay, so that breaks your arm or the handle and moves it up the top there. It's going to change the direction of our next line. So basically all we need to do now is go across to the finish point, click and drag from one box to the other. Okay, that was a little bit confusing, so I'll just command click or control click off that shape to finish it. We'll have a look at this second one. So I'll try and do it without saying as much this time. We're going to click in the start point and drag up to the second box. Let go of our mouse. Come to the center point. Click and drag down. Hold the Alt key and drag that green handle. Whoops. Drag that green handle up and around to that blue or purple box at the top. Let go. Oh, I stuffed up here a little bit. Let me just do this bit again. Keep missing it when I press the Alt key. There, now I've got, got it right. So I've got the handle up there. Finally, across to the end point, click and drag out to the right. Okay. Control or Command click off that shape to finish it. Okay, a little bit fiddly as you can see, but we'll give it one more go just here and we'll see if we can get it right. So we'll go click and drag up to the center of that second box come across to the middle, I'm going to click and drag down and get the curve right. Once the curve's in position, hold the Alt key, grab that handle and move it up to the blue box at the top. Then move your mouse over to the finish box, click and drag out to the right. Okay, when you're done, hold Command or Control and click off the shape to finish it and you get that nice M shape. Alrighty, then it gets tricky. You've got to do a few yourself. Got another normal looking one there, we've got some on their side, we've got one upside down, and we've got some on the diagonal over here. Okay, same technique, just a little bit lopsided really. So let's start over here on this left one. All you need to do really is start on that point, click and drag up to the right a bit, let go, come over to your center point, click and drag down. Try and get that curve matching the best you can. It might not be perfect, but do the best you can. Hold Alt and grab that handle and move it up near the other one. And then simply go to your finish line. Click and drag up and to the right a bit and try and get that curve matching the best you can. Okay. Control click to finish. 
doesn't look too great so what I can do is grab my white arrow like we did before click on this shape okay, and use your handles to try and get these curves looking a bit a bit better okay so I'll click on this middle bit, middle bit there we go so that looks a lot nicer now just by using the white arrow to adjust those curves I'll do one more and then you can have a go at doing them yourselves so I'll just do this upside down one remember start on the left and come across diagonally in the shape of the curve we let go go to the center point we click and drag down try and match that curve up the best you can hold alt to break that handle and move it up the top here next to the other middle point and we come across to the finish and simply click and drag up to the right not going to be perfect but it's pretty close so control click or command click to finish that's not too bad. Have a go at the rest of those yourself. When you get to the bottom, you're going to get some really tricky ones. If you can't get those straight away, come back to them at the end of the lesson. I'll admit that I can't do those very well, but with a bit of practice, you will be able to get them. Okay, so if you are getting a bit cranky because you can't draw those, skip them and come back to them at the end. Okay, so the next part you need to do, the last part, is the luck and love section. You're drawing some hearts and some clover. Okay. The hearts aren't too hard. We did these in a previous tutorial. So basically we start on this middle point here. Okay. There's a couple of ways you could do this. I'm going to do it like we did in the previous tutorial where we clicked on the start point. We came across to the right and we clicked and dragged down to get the shape of that curve. And we came around to the middle point. We clicked once. We came up to the top left and we clicked and dragged to get the shape of that curve. Or the best shape we can. Okay, and if we were to come back to the start now, our love heart would be looking a bit lopsided. So you can hold the Alt key and actually bring that anchor point or the handle down a bit and then close it off. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Remember, you can grab your white arrow. Just adjust those handles a little bit. I'll just adjust it on the right side. I'll bring it in a little bit too. Okay, it doesn't look overly great, but it's not too bad either. Okay, that's a love heart. Do the same for the one on the right. The other bit, four leaf clovers, these are really tricky. I'm not very good at these, but we'll have a go at them quickly. Okay. I think we simply start on this left corner point and drag up like so. And you want to come straight across to this next corner and simply click and drag. Now, it doesn't quite match. Okay, but we can fix that at the end. I'll let go of my mouse there. I'll hold the Alt key, bring that handle. I'm going to bring it out this way a bit, not quite as close to the original handle. I'll try it there and see what sort of shape I can get. Click and drag. That's not too bad, it's kind of matching the shape of the clover. Hold Alt, bring that handle out to the bottom right. I'd say about there. Let's have a go at drawing this next one. Pretty close. I'll hold Alt, drag that handle out. I'll go in about that direction there. And we'll just go back to the original point here. Now you might have a few issues. As you can see here, when I drop that last one in, it stuffs up the top of my clover. Okay. I'm not sure how to get around that. Um, I'm sure there's whoops, I'm sure there's a way. I'm just not sure what it is just yet. Um, if I hold the alt key, I'll see what that does. There we go. So I held the Alt key down when I connected those lines and it didn't affect the shape of them. So now it's just a matter of grabbing the white arrow, going through those handles there and just adjusting them to try and match that shape the best you can. Okay, shouldn't take too long. Remember to click on the line as you come around and get the new set of handles up. Drag them in, drag them out. Okay, and eventually you'll get that good looking four leaf clover. Okay, we're nearly done now. Just get this last one. Looking good. That's pretty sweet. I'll click off it. We've got a pretty good looking shape there. Okay. The bottom ones down here, they aren't too tricky. I think you'll be able to do those with just two clicks of the mouse. Okay, see how you go. But if you can do all those shapes and get them looking pretty good, you've done a great job and you're really starting to get the hang of the pen tool. Okay, we'll get into some more complex um, videos further down the track where we can start tracing some complex pictures. Okay, so enjoy 
doing those curves. Okay, it is quite frustrating. Good luck.